Hello YouTube and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a cup. I did a tutorial before this one on how to make a like a glass bottle but in this one it's going to be more of a like a coffee cup or a tea cup. So let's start by adding a cylinder. Scale it down first. Uh, shading smooth. Tap into edit mode delete these vertices vertices tab out of edit mode add modifiers solidify same as my other one just beef it up a little now this is going to be one of the most basic cups that you could probably do even more basic than my tutorial that I did before this one just press E to extrude and then click off it, Alt M at center again this just seals off the bottom at tip edit mode that's the basic like main cup main bit of the cup now view front we're going to have to add in like a handle this could be one, done one of two ways, you could always extrude out of the cup but at the moment I'm going to shift a add mesh cylinder size it down a lot grab it, move on the x axis so I can see how much I'm sizing it down grab it, place it over here rotate it, size it down even more still a little bit more rotate it some more grab it so it's like that now press B select these vertices extrude out rotate rotate the vertices down a little bit extrude out rotate it down a bit extrude out, rotate down a, a lot extrude out, a bit too far extrude out, rotate a bit more extrude out, rotate, extrude rotate, extrude rotate, extrude rotate, just that last bit and extrude into there I know what I'm gonna do for a quick second. Just grab it up on the Z axis. So it might look a little better. This actually looks a little big. So let me just select all this, grab it and move it in some. this just to make it that much smoother now as you can see it's very weird there but that can be fixed by pressing shade smooth and then let's chuck a modifier onto it just to subdivision surface pump that up to 2 tab into edit mode press ctrl r there drag it down to the bottom ctrl r there drag it to there ctrl r there drag it into there now press tab does that look like it's connecting for the most part the top there it looks like it's not connecting as well as I'd like it so just highlight those vertices so 
a very bad job on highlighting vertices on my part. So grab it, move it on the x-axis just a little more in. Now if that doesn't look right, okay, that looks, that looks pretty good. Okay, view front. That looks pretty good, but it looks a little weird right there. Right in here. Just gonna grab that and move that down a little. And that's just gonna help the curve. I mean, it does look a little weird, but I mean, for how long I put into it. It's quite good. Uh, just one last thing. Might as well just pump this thickness up a little. Just to give it a little more. I don't know. Quality that doesn't look like it's going to break as soon as someone touches it. And that damn thing came off again. So tap into edit mode, I don't know why it looks like it's coming off so uh, control R there click there we go that looks much better in my opinion it does anyway now I'll just add a material I want this to be a let's say hmm an RNG kind of mug press zero size the mug up GZ let's render this out and as always my lighting setup sucks okay didn't it's not uh, didn't do much grab down the z-axis just grab and throw it over there now let's hope this fixes it up a little Now, let's see if it fixes it up a little. Okay, that's a little better. Well, it's actually a lot better. But as you see, it's a fairly decent mug. I mean, again, took all of five, five, ten minutes. Pretty good mug. And if I didn't have to do an actual tutorial on this and stop and talk constantly, I could do this a lot faster. But nonetheless, that's just generally how you make a very quick mug. I know there's some bits here, there's there that needs all smoothing out and around there. Cause they look a little weird, but and you could also like make that bit bigger there, so it looks like it's joining in somehow. It's just not magically joining, but nonetheless, it's a fairly good job for the amount of time I put into it, which is vir which was virtually nothing. So uh, thanks for watching my tutorial on how to make a mug or coffee cup or tea cup or whatever it is. I'm just going to call it a mug. Thanks for watching.